you too. <laughs> All right, it's about that time. It, it, it's, it's really about that time. Like, I don't know why am I nervous, but I need to kick that fear today. Today is the day, okay? So, let's get into it. My name is Tanika. Um, I am from Brooklyn, New York. I'm originally born and raised in Brooklyn, New York, but I live in Georgia. I moved to Georgia two years ago. My dog is in the back, getting your hair cartoons and all types of stuff going on right now. I am a hairstylist. I've been doing hair from since who? The age of five, I started braiding hair on my rainbow braids. Okay, so if you, you know, in my age group, you already know what a rainbow braid is. If not, um, a rainbow braid is a doll that is made with yarn. I'm gonna try to see if I find that, and I am going to show that right here. Um, yeah, but um, so that was when I first learned how to braid. Um, Okay, I had to pause because I'm, I'm starting to feel like I was going to be all over the place. And I'm trying to just, you know, give y'all me. I don't know why I'm nervous. Like you too, what? But anyway, it's time for me to get on this YouTube journey. And um, yeah, I just want to, you know, be a light to someone else that may be going through what I may be going through. Um, you know. No, you don't know. You don't know. I need to stop saying you know. All right. <laughs> so, I am 45. I have four children, age 26, uh, 18, 11, and 3. Yeah, I started over. I don't know what God was thinking when that happened, but yes, I have a three-year-old, and we will get into that in another episode or whatever you want to call it. Um. Yeah, we're not going to talk about that right now because I'm going to let y'all know how I felt. And so the reason I'm starting my YouTube journey is because I feel like it's time for me to get on that social media um, wave. Um, it's money to be made out here for everyone. Um, I don't know. Recording like this makes me feel like I'm looking somewhere else. I don't know. But um, let me continue. Let me continue and stop playing. Um, I've been watching Doe Dash. Doe Dash is who freaking inspired me. Like, I've been inspired, but um, she really, that girl, Doe Dash, man, her, her personality is out the roof. Like, I'm, I'm happy for her. I'm grateful that I've seen her videos. Like, her videos just keep popping up. Like, boop, boop. So yesterday she posted a video. I'm like, yo, yeah, she's talking to me. She's like, yeah. yeah. The video said, um, if you're pretty, get your ass on YouTube. And <laughs> my husband said to me when I told him what she said, he was like, that's right. Like, I've been telling you, like, what are you scared of? So I've been on this journey. I was like, so I started doing my research on how to get my subscribers, how to get my YouTube monetized and all that stuff. Why I get to my thousand subscribers? I'm actually actually at a thousand and twenty nine subscribers. I went to sleep and woke up. I probably was like at eight eight something, and I went to sleep and woke up, and I was at a thousand and twenty nine. I was like, "Whoa, bitch! Okay, okay, okay." Then I got stuck. You hear them birds tweeting? That's that's exactly what happened. <laughs> I was like, "Okay, what to do next?" Let's get into this. I'm here out in Georgia. I don't know what to do with myself. Coming from New York, um, I'm, I'm a hairstylist. Um, I've been doing hair from since I was 12 years old. Um, professionally, I started at, um, I wanna say 2016. 2016, I started professionally. Um, I went to hair school 2009, graduated, no, went to school 2009, graduated 2010. I was playing around, I was, yeah, I was bullshitting. It was like high school again. I don't know, I don't know, but it was just like high school again. 
um started slacking but i pulled myself together and then i got i graduated 2010 got my hair license in 2014 once again i was slacking i don't know what happened but I made sure and I got my license. So I got my license in 2014, 2016. I LLC my business. Um, started selling hair. Um, <laughs> you know, my business started taking off, but then I was just like, you know, it, it was it was it was a battle. It was a battle. I fixed my credit, do all that good stuff. I get into videos. I tell y'all about stuff, you know, I just tell y'all about I got a lot of stories. I just got a lot of stories. I'm trying not to give y'all all one time because I could just blah, 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 when I start. But see, now I'm starting to loosen up. Yeah, I'm starting to loosen up. All right, I'm starting to loosen up. LLC, my business 2016. I, um, like I said, coming from New York, um, I was that, I was that girl. Like, I was, I was getting to the bag. <laughs> I was getting to the bag. And, I came down to Georgia in 20, 2021. Came down to 2021 to do someone here for their wedding, one of my clients. And I was like, yeah, I like it, you know what I'm saying? I'm feeling it, I'm liking the, the, the hospitality. And I'm like, yeah, I wanna move here. Boom. I don't know how we was gonna move here. I know, You know what I'm saying? I had money, you know what I'm saying? Um, we're going to get into that, too. And I was going to get some more money. I was running into some other money. And I was like, yo, all right, cool. So I think I, I think I want to do this. I was like, God, if this is meant to be, let this go through. So came back to New York. And I was just like, really going to move. Like, this is what we're doing. We're going to move. <laughs> I'm like, okay. So... Started looking, um, the same client here I came down here to do, she found me a realtor and stuff like that. And it was like, all right, it's time to go. Because it was just like <clears throat> living in New York, it was, it was it started to get overcrowded. Like everybody was just living on top of each other. And it was just like, you know, when it came to parking and, 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 and just, just, little things it was just too much then you know um well you don't know i gotta stop saying that i said that already um <clears throat> living my father-in-law was living with us or whatever so it was just like yes yeah, it's, it's time to go so he stayed in new york he decided not to come he was supposed to come but he didn't we're gonna get into that too um but yeah so now i'm here First time homeowner, I'm like, yeah, I got this. I'm thinking when I come to Georgia, because before I came here, I posted, you know, my social media. I got all these followers and stuff on Instagram, Facebook. So I'm like, yeah, when I come down here, it's going to be lit. I'm going to get to the back the same way I was in New York. Da, 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 da. That was not the case. <sighs> this is part of the reason why I'm here now. So I'm just give you a little bit of that. Um... So, we here, when we first move, I'm going to let y'all know right now, I paid 10% down on miles. Paid 10%. That 10% was about, mm, I want to say about 38, 40 grand put down on the house. Boom. So, I was like, okay. I had about 58,000 left, right? Like, yeah, we could live off of that. I'm like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, I felt like we could have lived off of that until my clientele picked up. I felt like that's what was going to happen. So, um, yeah, before we, before I blinked, it was like, yo, probably like, I want to say, you know what? With paying the mortgage and everything, paying the mortgage and taking care of shit, the shit held this off for like about nine months, nine to ten months, right? I'm say about ten months. Let's, let's say ten months. Yo, 
when I looked at my account, I was like, yo, babe, I only got $2,000. <laughs> what the fuck are we gonna do? <laughs> so it was crunch time. It was crunch time. Okay. He, you know, he stood up and was like, yo, I'm gonna go out there, you know what I'm saying, try to build that home. This is what you're gonna do. I got, you know what I'm saying, I got my little at-home office, right, um, at-home salon. So I was like, all right, I'm gonna try to build, keep pushing my content, whether I'm doing here on myself or whatever, just 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 letting the people know I'm there, um, reposting my, my, my work that I did in New York, just letting people know I'm here. Like, all right, I'm here about, about you know what I'm saying? Revamping my videos and reposting them, refurbishing them. Okay. I was like, all right, one or two clients. Oh, it's another story, but I'm going to tell you about that in another way. In another um, episode, when I first moved down here, I uh, went to a salon to work, um, paid her for like a whole month to work in the salon. But I'm going to get into that. I'm, we going to get into that. Another, another episode. Talk about that another episode. So anyway, I'm trying to build my clientele up or whatever, whatever, whatever. Okay, it's coming slowly but surely, slowly but surely. I knew this girl we met through Instagram. We've been talking through Instagram. Actually, I don't know if y'all know Tamika Gibson, but that's my girl. She make the bow hole glue that I'm always using to have my lace laid. <laughs> but anyway, um, so... Uh, she had this hair group that she had us in. So we ended up meeting through the hair group. I came down here a few months in. I guess one day she said, y'all, I was watching your Instagram story. And I, I guess I was venting about not having clients or something like that. And she said, she hit me up to do a, a lunch date. So I was like, all right, cool. So she was like, I had a proposition for you, blah, 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 blah. Sat down, talked about it. I was like, all right. So sometimes I do work at a, I work at an alopecia salon out in Atlanta. It's because, um, as y'all know, well, you know, looking through my videos and stuff like that, I work with a lot of alopecia clients here. I have worked with them in New York too, but I do a little bit more extensive type work here in Atlanta with alopecia clients. Um, so yeah. Um, so, you know, I took on, you know, the contract, two-year contract. So, I work in an alopecia salon. But that's only when I get booked. So, that's, you know. So, you know, I'm trying to do my thing. It's just not picking up as fast as I want it to. But nothing don't pick up as fast as you want it to. It just happens in God's time. And that's what I have to understand about my life right now. Um, I always wanted a house, got the house, and I just want to maintain the house. Okay. So my husband got a job. He got a good job um, or whatever, do what he do. Um, you know, so he's taking care of home and stuff like that. But as a woman coming from getting to the paper, it's kind of like, yo, what is going on, God? So when I first moved here, I fell into Bigo. I ain't never know shit about no damn Bigo. I seen um, this... Instagram, uh, blame it on Quaid posted something about Bigo. I started looking into it and I was like, oh, I realized you can make money off of here. Okay. So you see these bids and stuff like that. I win that in tournaments and stuff like that when I do, you know, on Bigo. You can make a good amount of money on Bigo. I have seen money on Bigo, but have I took it out? No. The first time I took money out on Bigo, was my first month just to receive it was real it was real so i was like yeah so what i do now is just continue flipping the money and i just look at beagle like a business you know it takes like six months a year sometimes even two years for your business to build i've been on there a year and nine months and i've been seeing a flip so you know i'm just continue doing my thing but we'll talk about that in another square anyway if you want to know about beagle you just comment below and i'll let you know but um that's not something that i'm really willing that I want to bring to YouTube. That's not part of my, you know, content that I want to really talk about. But just for you guys to know what I do, um, that's part of I do streaming sometimes. And I do not streaming sometimes. I I be on it all the time. So yeah, I be on Be Gone. But anyway. Um, yeah. So at this point, I'm just trying to build my social media presence because for some reason. 
it just, it's just, just different things just keep coming at me. Certain videos with inspirational stuff, especially talking about starting to be a content creator. Um, you know, showing your personality because I do have personality. Like, um, I just need to open up some more. Once I open up one here, y'all definitely gonna see my personality because I definitely do got personality. But it's just something about YouTube. I don't know. Like, like it's like starting a new class. Like walking into. You know, you, I don't know if y'all remember, but back in the days when we was like in fifth, like in, um, freaking elementary school, you go into, a um, if you, if you're teaching out there and you got to change classes, right? You in third grade, you go into a fifth grade class. That's what the hell this feels like. Cause it's like from, you know, TikTok, Instagram, uh, face, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, then there's YouTube. <laughs> Okay, so YouTube is a different type of ball game, and it's a different type of audience, and I know that, and um, I think that's why I'm so nervous, but um, I'm starting to open up, okay? Just give me some time. Give me some time. You know, I, being here on YouTube is basically for me to get to the bag, <laughs> get to the bag, um, you know grow with you guys um learn teach because i do a hell of some hair i could do some hair okay um teach you guys certain things you guys want to know about hair making wigs um working on alopecia clients not everybody is willing for me to show them but you know the ones that are that is willing for me to do long form videos we could, um, you know, elaborate on certain things that you guys may want to know. You know, who knows? Somebody may be watching me going through alopecia or whatever. Um, you know, my sewing machine. I made this wig like two days ago. I made this wig on my machine before I went. I had somewhere to go and I made this wig. You know, so um, I cook. Um, deal with my kids. Okay. Um I got real life shit going on. Um, you know, so I'm just here to share. I'm I'm learning how to get these grants. Um, I'm learning how to use Chat GPT. So as I go along and learn certain things, I want to teach you guys as well. Um, I want to talk to you guys about what I'm going through, you know. Certain things, you know, I've been really been in my head like, ah, uh, should I talk about that? Mm, if somebody here, they might get upset with me from bringing up this story or, but at this point, it's my life. It's my story. I have to, you know, <laughs> be myself, be myself. Um, pretty much in a nutshell, to boil it down, I'm going to bring me, Tamika, <laughs> flamboyant touches that's my business name um my life children my husband um hairstyling cooking um once again learning teaching just everything like so i don't have a niche um i don't have a niche i'm just gonna be me just sharing you know, my experience of being a first time homeowner, um, you know, back in the day stories that probably could help somebody else. I do want to give a shout out to a couple of people that I've been watching that really inspired me. Dodash. I even wrote down some of the stuff she said. Nobody is too good for anything desire everything you want be yourself attack your desire she also said um she want to be able to buy the freaking block like she's not stopping at nothing like so we have to create the things that we want come together and become a community right um don't be jealous of anyone that's that's the key right there. Don't be jealous of anyone and keep believing in you. Keep believing in yourself. Like that touched me. Like, yes, your existence is in is enough. Just 
enough. Just know that your existence is enough. All our existence is enough. Um, attack it. It's something I said the other day. Attack, attract, affirm. So we have to attack, attract, and affirm the things that we want. Attack, attract, and affirm. Um, another person. Tommy Bites Life. That lady right there. She, oh, listen. She was like, she 50. She 50 years old. And she said, if I'm 50 years old, you need to start a YouTube. Like, start a YouTube. I don't care. Just start it. She 50 years old and she getting bank. Okay, she getting bank. Then it was Miss Taffy. Um, she resonated me with me a lot. Um, from making money, um, being a homemaker and all that stuff. Like, yeah. Another person, Tempest Shania. Tempest Shania. She said, why is God not allowing you to get a job? That was one of her posts. And I was like, I've been applying for at-home jobs. Well, you know, damn well, I can't really get an at-home. Well, I think I can, but I, God is like, no, that's not for you. Like, I've been applying for at-home jobs and stuff like that. Um, um, you know, not having another car and things of that sort. Um, I have to stay at home and work. Like, that's what I need to do. So, yeah, like, so if you're not attracting the at-home job, apparently you need to attract some, you're attracting something else. And what I've been attracting with so, is social media. Like, every every time I turn around, it's something about becoming a social uh, uh, influencer, social, social media influencer. That's all that keep coming up. And present yourself, present yourself. So that's what I'm here for. I'm attacking and I'm attracting y'all and I'm affirming that we all could get to this bag. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. Whoever watch, thank you so much. Thank you for subscribing if you do. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep bringing, I'm gonna keep bringing it. I'm gonna keep bringing it. It's just a lot to talk about and I just don't want to be so um later on i might make another video but yeah i did it i did it <laughs>